Joining us live now, Ryan with the Packers and Lori, who is a cancer survivor. We are talking about the Tackle Cancer event that we are doing tomorrow night. Tell us, first of all, where this is happening at, how everything's kind of taking place. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the game is taking place at Calder Stadium in Menasha mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Um, and it's going to feature uh, West of Pier and Menasha. Both teams are undefeated. This yes, week. a very good game yeah. that we're looking at right now. Exactly. we got the top two teams in the Bay Conference, and it should be a great matchup. Absolutely wonderful. Tell us a little bit about the events that we're doing. There's so much going on tomorrow night. Yeah, absolutely. So we have uh, our, our Tackle Cancer event. The Packers have teamed up with NBC26 as well as the American Cancer Society, and we're actually going to be out there. We're going to have some special guests. We're going to have... Micah Hyde, we're going to have J. Rowan Elliott, we're going to have Chris Banjo uh, on hand for the game. Mm -hmm. They're going to be throwing autographed pink footballs into the crowd. And we're also going to have some raffle items. We're going to have some rally towels and some long sleeve t-shirts for sale. And all the proceeds go to the American Cancer Society. Such an important event. We've been doing this now for a couple of years. Lori, you are a cancer survivor. Tell us a little bit about your journey, your experience. Yes, my experience with cancer um, in January of 2015, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. Um, in July also that year, I was diagnosed with reoccurrence of cancer. So since then, I have stepped into being volunteer for American Cancer Society. And um, I do online, um, well, I do ongoing uh, volunteer work mm -hmm. and we're connected with the Crucial, crucial Catch and also with Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, um, the walk that was in October here at Lambeau Field. Amazing things that we're doing in this community all, and, and all this is helping people yep. right here in our community, mm -hmm. men and women fighting breast cancer. So tell us a little bit about what it feels like whenever you see all these people, even these kids who are getting out, yes. supporting the fight against this disease. Yes, definitely have to say, um, just with, um, uh, kids being diagnosed, also adults, it's great to have the Green Bay community involved. Mm -hmm. um, cancer is not really discriminating and it involves so many people. Mm -hmm. So get the youth involved and have awareness is an excellent event. Ryan, what do you hear from these players out there on the field? What do they feel like whenever they can fight something like this? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it makes a big impact on them. You know, you know we do our best to bring awareness to, mm -hmm. to breast cancer and, and all cancers as well. Uh, but to be able to show support, we, we all the players tomorrow are gonna be wearing pink gear, mm -hmm. uh, just like the pros do on Sunday. Um, so just any way that they can help out and bring awareness, they, they're all for it and, and both teams are very excited. Absolutely, and it maybe opens up a conversation, do you think? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it opens up a conversation that every family should have mm -hmm. and stuff to bring out awareness, prevention, and also hope when somebody is diagnosed in Absolutely. our family. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for being with us. We're hoping for good weather tomorrow night. Again, if you cannot make it to the game, you can watch it on My New 32, our sister station. The pregame coverage starts at 6.30 p.m.